Okay, here we have a fraction question. If you haven't attempted this question already, do pause the video and have a go now. Okay, fractions in GCSE Foundation are often done poorly or left out. So it's a good one to work on and make sure you can do. Changing this top heavy fraction into a mixed number, if we think about what it is, we've got 10 thirds. If I have one whole shape and I split it up into thirds, that's one, two, three thirds. And I've got another whole shape split into thirds, that's another three thirds. So that's six thirds in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another one would be nine thirds. And then you're left with one third left over. So it's three whole numbers and one third. So three and one third. A very common mistake there, well not common, but a mistake that people sometimes do is they get to the three and the one, they end up putting it as one tenth and not one third. But you've got just one third left over. The second part, two fractions, which fraction is larger? Well, I'm going to show you the traditional way of doing this. The traditional way is to think of a number that both three and five go into. To show it, you can't just guess, you won't get any marks for just guessing. So you need to think about what they both go into. Now, if you're not sure what they both go into, you can just multiply the two together to get 15, and they both go into 15. Now, 5 goes into 15 by times them by 3. So if we take the top and times that by 3, we get 9 over 15. And then the 2 thirds we times by 5, so we times the top by 5, and we get 10 fifteenths. And we can see that 10 fifteenths is bigger than 9 fifteenths, so 2 thirds is bigger. So then we put the answer 2 thirds. Okay, a couple of other ways of trying to do this. Um, one other way of trying to do it, and quite often I show this to students, is just to write out um, equivalent fractions until you find one that works. So lot, most people can do this, write these out, uh, write out a few equivalent fractions until, until you. Uh, Certainly the first five you can write down. So you're just adding on five each time, adding on three each time. So that's three fifths. And then we can do the same for two thirds. It's four sixths, it's six ninths. So we're going two, four, six, eight, ten, and then across the bottom three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And then looking for one that has the same denominator, those two, and we can compare those directly. And one final way you can do it is if you think about a number of things and then try to figure out what three-fifths and two-thirds is. So, and the way to do that is similar to this, is to, is to, is to use three times five is fifteen. So if we had fifteen sweets, if you're good at working out what a fraction of the number is, so what's three-fifths of fifteen? Three-fifths, well one-fifth, one-fifth would be... 15 divided by 5 is 3, so 3 fifths would be 3 lots of that, which is 9 sweets. If we worked out 2 thirds of the number of sweets, so 2 thirds, if we worked out 1 third would be equal to 5 sweets, and then 2 thirds would be 10 sweets. So clearly 2 thirds is more sweets than 3 fifths, and therefore 2 thirds is bigger, and that's a valid way of showing which one's bigger. Um, Multiplying fractions, quite often people look at this and just go, it's very, you know, it looks too complicated, but multiplying fraction on fraction where there's just no, no whole numbers and stuff, it's really straightforward. And we just times the top and we times the bottom. So we get 4 times 3 is 12, over 5 times 8 is 40, so that gets you one mark, but you must do it in its simplest form. So 12 over 40 needs to be cancelled down. We could halve it. We get 6 over 20 and then halve it again to get 3 over 10. Now that's quite nicely come down to 3 over 10. Um, some people get a little bit confused when you can't halve it anymore. So say we were doing um, 3 over 9. Can't, I can't halve that fraction but I can divide by 3. So you need to look at other things that will go into both. So that would go down to 1 third if you were doing 3 ninths which we're not. Okay. But if we can keep halving, that's the best way to go.